Social Democrats, Deputy Roshan Shortall, please. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, Taoiseach, today two reports were published which highlight that the state continues to heap disadvantage on disadvantage in the treatment of vulnerable children. First, the Ombudsman for Children has published a hugely concerning report about the impact of the pandemic on children generally. In it, the Ombudsman describes 2020 as a devastating year for children, and it was. Schools closed, sports facilities closed, other activities came to an abrupt halt, uh, children couldn't see their family or friends, and all the normal and joyful events were stripped away. What was also stripped away was, the vulnerable, what was vulnerable children's safety nets. The digital divide impacted children's right to education. The number of children protected uh, the number of child protection referrals fell by a staggering 42%, meaning children living in unsafe homes or at risk of violence fell through the cracks. While available supports from social workers and teachers collapsed, domestic violence rates soared. Children with additional needs did not have access to their usual services or routines, and very many regressed. Children awaiting medical treatment or an assessment of need for disability services have joined rapidly expanding waiting lists. Children living with parents or siblings who are medically high risk uh, lived in fear of bringing COVID home and causing the death of their family member. Many of these children felt unable to attend school for this reason and 15 months later many are still not attending school. Another report published today has highlighted the difficulties faced by children born into disadvantaged backgrounds. The latest research from the Growing Up in Ireland study looks at 8,000 nine-year-olds and their families. The report describes how gaps have widened between children from advantaged and disadvantaged backgrounds since the children started at primary school. Children from disadvantaged backgrounds who were early high performers in school were being outperformed by children from wealthier backgrounds by the age of nine. Children from disadvantaged backgrounds had lower reading te test scores, a more negative self-perception, poor health outcomes and more socio-emotional difficulties. These children are being failed and knowingly failed by the state. The pandemic has caused huge disruption to every child in Ireland, but it has taken a particularly heavy toll on the most disadvantaged children because it has exacerbated underlying structural inequalities that have persisted for far too long. I know that you understand, Taoiseach, how such disadvantage can rob a child of their childhood and their potential. I'm asking you, Taoiseach, will you and your office now take the lead Thank in you, a Deputy. comprehensive response to mitigate the damage that has been done to so many Thank you very much, children? Deputy Taoiseach. Well, first of all, I think there's uh, absolutely no doubt that the impact of COVID-19 has been very, very severe um, on children. Uh, it's a once-in-a-century pandemic uh, which has turned everybody's worlds upside down, but particularly children. Um, it has led to isolation in terms of even at the most family level, uh, children born in the last year or so, for example, haven't even been able to see the wider family um, at a very basic level in terms of socialization and the importance of that in the, de in the early development of a child. Uh, we've had the closure of schools for different periods uh, during the first lockdown and during the third wave uh, this year. Um, and the government has done everything it possibly can to support children throughout the pandemic, um, not least in getting schools reopened last September, which involved unprecedented investment in resources to primary and second level schools and also to childcare settings uh, to enable the return of services and, and the return of, of, of schools uh, and providing a range of supports to enable that um, to happen. Uh, unfortunately, the third wave interrupted that uh, in terms of the first quarter of the year, but thankfully we were able to get kids back into school. And I think it's a measure of our society actually compared to other countries whereby we were in a position uh, more consistently to prioritize education for children above and beyond other sectors in society or in the economy even for that purpose. I mean, coming into September, I recall we did localized lockdowns and so on, which were not popular. 
uh, but we did it in order to ensure uh, that we could facilitate um, education restarting in, in, in September um, and carrying it right through. And I think that was, that was an important policy objective and, and priority. In terms of the disadvantage around the digital divide, I, that is true. And I, I don't believe the initially, my, my feedback is initially the online experience was a difficult and challenging one for schools to operate. Although the second time around in, in, in the third wave, it was better. Uh, I think people got to learn more in terms of modus operandi uh, practices and so on. But nothing ever replaces the impersonal um, uh, interaction between a teacher and a, and a child, between the SNA and the child um, in the classroom. So uh, that said, we are now, as part of the Recovery and Resilience Programme and in our submission to Europe, we're identifying a very significant investment in technology, in education, in terms of high-speed connectivity, but also the deployment of devices uh, heavily weighted uh, towards supporting children in disadvantaged uh, uh, socio-economic disadvantaged um, circumstances. Uh, the DESH programme, uh, which has been a very uh, significant intervention, uh, that Fianna Fáil brought in when last in government, actually, uh, and I've had a long, consistent um, um, position in terms of um, dis education disadvantage. I, th uh, I was involved in the original school completion program as Minister for Education in Thank developing you, that. Time that's is something up. I want to see. That's being reviewed at the moment, uh, and we need to again refine that and make sure that we target children who are most um, in need. And the digital time transformation is program is much. about dealing with dig digital. Um, disadvantage. Deputy Shortall. Taoiseach, look, we already had an unacceptably high number of children who are disadvantaged. O over the past year, those disadvantaged children have been doubly disadvantaged. Now, we need a comprehensive response to that. It, it, they are particular circumstances. I'm asking you if you will take the lead on this, because it, is, it involves a number of different departments, education, you know, child welfare, uh, health, and all of those agencies need to be brought together to devise an immediate, urgent response to the particular problems that have been caused. And I'm asking you, as Taoiseach, will you take the lead on that? Taoiseach, yeah, I'm very clear, and government is very clear to prioritise the needs of children. Taoiseach, uh, Minister Roderick O'Gorman, of course, as Minister for Children and Youth Affairs, um, will equally, you know, will be to the fore in advancing uh, particularly the issues that fall within his remit, as will the Minister for Education, uh, Norma Foley, in respect of education, working together. And, and, and we already, through the department uh, subcommittee in terms of social affairs and also education, we work collaboratively. We have, to work, we have to work collaboratively. Of course I take responsibility as a teacher. I do all the time in, in respect of, of advancing policies that are beneficial uh, you to children. Um, and, and that's what we intend to do. Because we do accept, there's no question COVID-19 had an unprecedented impact on children. Uh, no question about that. And a damaging impact. Uh, and, we need plan, to, and we need to, uh, across the board, uh, we need action, uh, Deputy, and, and I'm very keen on that. Uh, and you know, again, we're, we're doing that. I, we've already pu published the economic recovery um, plan, which focuses on children and young people you, Taoiseach, very strongly uh, in terms of the allocation of resources to support them uh, in the thank, time ahead. Thank you very much, Deputy Noel Grealish, on behalf of the regional group. Taoiseach, they're, they're